Mars Incorporated, makers of Milky Way candy bars, invite you to the Fountain of Fun with Fraser Thomas, Old Doc Fiddle Faddle, and Toby Tuttle. Say, Toby, are you interested in opera? Am I interested in opera? Why, Tommy, I worked at the Metropolitan Opera House for five years. You did, Toby? How come you quit? They started using girl ushers. Oh! <laughs> with a song by Norman Ravel. I couldn't sleep a wink last night. Because we had that silly fight. A song by Mary Jean and Betty. You gotta jump it, music master. You gotta play that rhythm faster. And music by Phil Davis and the orchestra who opened the program with Nobody's Sweetheart. <laughs> When you're working long, hard hours at your job, it's nice to have some little treat to look forward to. A Milky Way candy bar is a bright spot in any day. Mmm, mmm, just to sink your teeth into that thick coating of pure milk chocolate, that layer of smooth, creamy caramel, and then to bite into the luscious center of chocolate nougat flavored with real malted milk. It's a taste that'll thrill you, and what a lift you get with a Milky Way candy bar. It's so full of wholesome nourishment and quick energy, it sends you back to your job with fresh new zip. Now, if you can't get a Milky Way every time you ask for it, just figure that you're sharing your favorite candy with one of the boys overseas. Milky Ways are made for home folks, too, but they disappear fast because there's no other candy in the world with the special goodness of a Milky Way. When you crave good candy, eat a Milky Way. Toby, what are you doing there? Why don't you get busy? Oh, I was just reading the book reviews in the Sunday paper, Tommy. You reading the book reviews? Ha <laughs> ha. I didn't know that you were interested in books. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, what's your favorite new book? That's easy to answer. That ration book number four is a dandy. <laughs> That's probably all you know about books, too. Oh, no, I'm a very illiterate guy. In fact, I go in for all that culture stuff. Books, music, plays, art. Just where do you get these cultural interests? I come by it naturally. My whole family is artistic and talented. My mother drew landscape, my father drew animals, my sister drew still life, but my uncle was the best of all. He drew a pension check the first of every month. Well, that takes care of all your family except your brother. Didn't he draw? Yes, but we don't talk about that. Why? What did he draw? Pictures of Lincoln on $5 bills. <laughs> but you know, I'm a very talented artist myself. Is that so? Well, say, will you draw my picture? No, I just draw pictures of boats. But, Toby, I'd really like to have you draw a picture of me. No, Tommy, I just draw pictures of boats. Big boats, little boats, canoes, rowboats, any kind of boats. Look, Toby, you're my friend, and I want you to draw my picture. I insist that you draw my picture! Okay, I'll draw your picture. But I'll tell you right now, you're going to look like a boat. <laughs> Lafayette, probably. Hi, fellas. Hello, Toby. Hi, coming, Tommy. Well, hello, Doc. How are you, boss? Oh, take it boo Bucky. Take it boo Mighty busy, though. Got to go down to the library and do a little research. Oh, are you looking for something? Yep. The new library and... <laughs> you know, they tell me she's a snappy chassis with a snappy, a classy chassis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Would you like to try it again? No. <laughs> oh, That's what they said. <laughs> right. Doc, what in the world happened to you? You look all battered up. Oh, I had a very unfortunate experience last night, Bucky. I went over to call on to Whitney Blake. And while I was there, we was dancing to the music of the radio. Oh, mighty dreamy waltz it was. Then her father come in. Did he break the romantic mood? Break the romantic mood? He pretty near busted my clavicle. <laughs> <laughs> you see, he's so darn deep he couldn't hear the music. <laughs> and let me see. I also got to, got to go down to the barber shop. <laughs> I'm sorry you came in here to begin with. <laughs> I won the, You know what I did, fellas? I won the drawing to see who gets to look at the new Esquire. <laughs> you certainly are a busy boy. Oh, you ain't just eating your gums, Jackson. <laughs> then I got to get out to Town Square at 6.30 and pick up a lady. <laughs> who's that, Doc? Well, shucks. How do I know who's going to be at the Town Square at 6.30? <laughs> 
Women, women, women. That's all you think about. Can't you think about higher things? Sure, and from now on I will. Good. I'll think about taller women. (laughs) (laughs) Doc, at your age, you should think about the finer things in life, like, well, classical music. What's that? Classical music? Don't you even know what classical music is? Oh, sure. That's the kind that just when you recognize the tune, they start to play something else. (laughs) Doc, from the way you talk, I don't suppose you ever heard of opera. Now, that's where you're wrong, Bucky. I got quite a wide acquaintance. I know the quartet from Rigoletta, the sextet from Lucia, and the brunette from East St. Louis. <laughs> Seriously, Doc, do you like the opera? Yes, sir. There's one of them things I fancy a whole lot. Now, let's see. You can't just place it right now. Is it uh, Aida? No, it ain't Aida, sweet. It, no, it ain't Aida. No, it, 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 <laughs> Is it Faust? Oh, not too Faust. Kind of slow. <laughs> How about Carmen? Yes, sir, that's the one. That's the one where I like the music so good, Bucky. Hey, she'll be Carmen round the mountain when she carms. <laughs> Doc, you really should learn something about good music. There's a concert on in town tonight. Are you going to attend? No, Bucky, I ain't going. There you go again. Such grammar. You should say, I'm not going. He's not going. She's not going. They aren't going. Get the idea? Well, if there ain't nobody going, I might as well stay home myself. <laughs> think I'll go back and lie down. <laughs> Mary Jean and Betty bring us that bright new tune about the old music master. One night long ago, by the light of the moon, an old music master sat composing a tune. His spirit was soaring. And his heart full of joy When right out of nowhere stayed A little common boy You gotta jump it, music master You gotta play that rhythm faster You're never gonna get it played On the happy cat hit parade You better tell your friend Beethoven And Mr. Reginald they Beethoven Doc Fiddlefaddle's by the fun pharmacy. Toby Toddle speaking. Oh, hello, Mrs. Updike. What's that? You say the baby swallowed a roll of camera film? Well, I wouldn't worry. I don't think anything would develop. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> say, Toby, you were talking a little bit ago about what a talented and distinguished family you have. Yeah? You have a family tree? Family t- <laughs> I haven't even got a flower pot. <laughs> Oh, how do you do? How do you do? How do you do? Well, look who's here, Mr. Twitchum. How are you, Mr. Twitchum? Oh, I'm just Jim Dandy. Jim Dandy. How are you? Oh, I'm Jim Dandy. No, I'm Jim Dandy. You're Toby Tuttle. (laughs) No, Mr. Dandy, I'm Mr. Twitch... No, you're Mr. Twitchum, and I'm Toby Tuttle. Dear me, so we're back to that again. Well, what can I do for you, Mr. Tuttle? Well, you can give me a... Look, I'm Tuttle, you're Twitchum. I work here, and you came in. Uh, What can I do for you? Oh, yes, I know. 
I want to buy a paper doll. Oh, you mean you'd like to get the phonograph record? No, I want to buy a paper doll. What in the world do you want with a paper doll? Why, so those flirty, flirty guys with the flirty, flirty eyes will have to flirt with someone who is real. Everyone knows that. <laughs> I very de- nearly didn't recognize it that way. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Twitchin, what makes you so wacky? Oh, I don't know. I'm shadowed by my own fright. You mean you're frightened by your own shadow? No, I'm shadowed by my own fright. My wife is a detective, and she's always following me. Well, something certainly makes you nervous. You know, I think you're just too sensitive. Oh, yes, I'm the sensitive type. I'm really an artist at heart, you know. Is that right? Oh, yes. In fact, uh, here is a painting I made of my class at high school. I always carry it with me in case someone asks to see the painting I made of my class at high school. (laughs) Well, let me see it. Twitch him, this picture is blank. Perfectly blank. Well, I declare. They must have all graduated. Well, (laughs) tick-tock to the clock, I must go. Norman Ravel sings one of the songs that rank high among this season's favorites, I Couldn't Sleep a Wink Last Night. I couldn't sleep a wink last night Because we had that silly fight I thought my heart would break the whole night through I knew that you'd be sorry I'm sorry, too, I didn't have my favorite dream, the one in which I hold you tight. I had to call you out this morning to see if everything was still all right, yeah, I had to call you up this morning cause I couldn't sleep a wink last I couldn't sleep away. 